This will hurt. Ronda Gratior. Apora. Sendes. Aborane Sendes. Jot wipes the sweat from his brow, not even noticing the blood still on his hands. Aerosil and Serenry, be praised! You are truly on our side this day. It's a miracle! Tristan hands Jot a clean towel. Jot pulls himself together and wipes his hands and face. So, what have we learned? We've learned I was a pompous fool and Tristan was right all along. It's not a disease, but a parasite. Something of vegetative origin. It resembles a seed. I'm sorry, my friend. I should have wagged my tongue less and listened to you more. Please, don't mention it. It was a lucky guess, not worthy of your praise. <sighs> Are you able to cure others of the disease now? Yes, yes. Now that we know what to do, we can extract the seed with much less risks to the patient and with much less suffering. So, what will you do next? There are still many patients here. We'll start work on them immediately. And you, your grace, may want to search for the source of this disease. We still know neither where these seeds come from, nor how they get into people's bodies. New patients arrive, arrive daily, and how many never even find their way to a hospital. Our efforts here are not enough by themselves. We need to find the root of this problem. I have to go. Please, find the source of this wretched seeds. Ha uh ha! -huh. Good lordy lord! Oh. Hi! How are you? I'm there. Hello. There we go. Hi! You! Barely survived it! Yes, you did. My goodness. I'm not gonna tomorrow you yet. <laughs> now I have some time. I Give must leave. Time. There you go. <laughs> so people are eating tiny single use stargates? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Hi. There is something important I wanted to discuss with you. It's not easy to admit, but recently the barony has grown so much that I feel it's slipping my grasp. Please, ease my burden by finding someone for the position of curator of arts and education. It's a huge weight off my shoulders. I have other news as well, which I'm sure you will find agreeable. As you know, our neighbor, Galt, has been in chaos for years. Their ever-changing rulers destroy that which goes against their fickle doctrines, including scientists and creators. But one of them was recently able to escape. To your lands. He's the publisher of a newspaper whose headquarters in cult were burnt down after false accusations of slander. He wishes to move to the capital where he will enjoy your protection, and in exchange he has offered to found a new printing house. He escaped cult with his plans for a printing machine with him, and is ready to start his business here, with your permission and help, of course. I think it's a wonderful opportunity, not only to get our own newspaper, but to help an innocent man get back on his feet. What do you say? Um. Well. But we have Lindsay's printing shop. Why do we need another? Lindsay pub publishes books, 
not newspapers. I doubt she'd be interested in this kind of endeavor. And our guest from Gold specializes in it. I mean, I have a printing house. I guess they're gonna use that together? How does that work? I mean, I already have one. <laughs> I don't have to have two, right? I mean... To, in, either, in, in, in order to do this... Do I need two printing houses? Because they are pretty big. <laughs> oh, hey, Salmon Snake. <laughs> Hi, Joko. I mean, Salmon Snake. I'm, I'm gonna do this, but... Um, I mean, if you guys don't have the answer, we'll, we'll find out soon, I guess. Wonderful. She'll immediately send a messenger to poor fellow and inform him of your decision. You have saved another soul from hopelessness and despair. Did you say despair? Hi, now what? <laughs> we made it. Second cursed attack was repelled. And the grateful citizens of the barony have a special reward for you. <gasps> a reward? Is it gold? Unfortunately, I must bring you bad news again. The bold hilltop lay silent for a moment, but another attack is certain to come soon. I don't have anything useful to add. The locals are either oblivious to the curse's origins, or they're too scared to talk. I'd be better off reading ancient books and curses. Um... Do we still know nothing about this curse? Well, nothing that can be, that can help us contain it. Once every few months, it drives nearby animals, monsters, and other beasts insane, sending them into a bloodthirsty rampage. I don't know what action we can take on this. The only way it can help is by roughly predicting when the next attack will begin. Forgive me, Dolly. Well, don't be so hard on yourself, Tristian. Even knowing when to get ready is an important thing to know. I don't know how we can. How we'd handle these attacks if they if they happened without warning? <laughs> Lindsay's right. You're too hard on yourself, Tristian. Thank you. Your support means much to me. Well, looks like we don't have a choice then. Uh, we'll wait and prepare for the next attack. Hi. Why, would you look at that? Svetlana sent you a letter. Ah, uh, it seems she's worried about old Boken. And that letter is very emotional. Huh? Oh, uh, what? Uh, okay. <laughs> What is this? Your Grace, I hope that matters of state in this land of ours are indeed all fine and well. And what troubles there are not... Are... Hold on, these letters are so small. <laughs> Your Grace, I hope that matters of state in this land of ours are indeed all fine and well. And what troubles there are... Are don't weigh too heavily... And what troubles there are, don't weigh too heavily upon your mind. I write to ask you to check our local herb doctor, Poken. The poor old man is losing his mind. He spends all day and night stooped over his cauldron. He looks about the, to lash out at anyone, especially those he doesn't know. He even gnarls at me and Oleg, which he'd never have let himself do before. Please come and see him before the old codger loses his mind completely. May Ira still save him. We have no one to turn to but you. Hoping you come as soon as possible, I remain. Very truly yours, Svetlana Lipton. Ew, what? Okay. Hey. 
So many problems. <laughs> okay, what is this? Interesting, but I don't have anyone for that. Oh, advisors. Yes. Okay, who is... You can do that. Or you. Oh, Lindsay. Or this guy. Oh, definitely the storyteller. Ta-da! Okay, then. Rank up. Um, well, I can't do that. I guess we need to do this. Okay. Oh boy. Is it still saving? Did it break? Help. Okay. Stream? Chat? Oh god, please don't lock again. Of course. Chat? Chat. Oh, goodness me. That happens sometimes. <laughs> Are we back? I think it's good now. How about the game? Ah, okay. We're good. I don't have to do a restart. Yay! <laughs> that was scary. Oh, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait a tiny, tiny, teensy bit. Hold on. There you go. Thank you, guys. Oh. That was scary. I was saving. Sometimes when I use F5, it just it just goes haywire. Oh, I'm just going to do a hard save right now. Save the game. Save the world. Woo. We're going to riot. Please, no. Ah, that's a success. Wonderful. Anything else? You can't do that yet. Because you were in training for another six days. Now, do I have time? I think I do. It's not timed right now, right? I'm gonna do this. I should also visit Boken. Uh, give me a week. Uh, let's... Let's just save it here. There we go. Training is complete. Just what we needed. Opportunity. Problem. I should probably do that. Problem. Omen. Okay. Mon society. So I'm going to do this. Okay. And one more day. Success. Cool. Nice boss. What? Why did I? Why did I put you in there? Mm. Economy. What can we do?
Oh, right, the trade agreement. Uh, I don't know what to do. Go to get over Oh, goodness. Hey, slacker! <laughs> Do have these curses, though. No. Yeah, I'm not interested in that. What about these events? Turn to Problem is troublemakers and omen. I don't have an inspiration because of the water. You could do that. Okay. Um. Okay. Library is built. What's this again? A brewery. So. This is a hospital. She doesn't matter, but I'm going to reason. Yeah, okay, and what about the brothel? All things Restricted to baronies with a chaotic alignment. I can't build I can't build a brothel. No. Or can I just... Am I the only one that can do that? Hold on. <laughs> 95 there goes all my money. 80? Okay. Oh, I can build it. That was weird. Why is it grayed out then? Why is it, it see-through? I don't understand. Built the brothel next to the brewery. And then the hospital next to the library and the brothel. Perfect! Wonderful! Oh no, I, I knew I didn't have enough BP, but it was still grayed out. So it was, just, it was messing with my brain. <laughs> I guess this is it. Okay then. I'm very happy with this. There we go. And we're also building... Troll quarters, yay! Mm. What is this? Oh, nature, nature rage, and, and how long does it take? Seven days. I could skip seven days, but you know what I want to do? I want to go. Huh? A library next to the brothel? No, 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 no. There's a brewery on one side, and on the other side it's the hospital. How oh, easy now? That's smart. And the library is next to the hospital. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Stop yelling and listen to me! I'm trying to talk some sense into you! There's nothing to talk about, Olaf. This is my home. Here I was born, and it is where I die. You don't? That's what I'm saying. You stay, and you'll die before your time. 
Can't you see what's going on? Monsters, goblins, and bandits! Turn your back for a moment, and there's some feet crawling right out of your neighbor's entrails! You talk too much. Just do your work, pray to Aristotle, and stay close to your home and your family. That's all there is to it. I've seen worse. Aye. Back when you were half your age and unmarried. Eric, old friend, think of Jenny and your little ones. What if some beast comes knocking at your door? You're a good cutter, not a swordsman. We have to leave the barony when we still can. I dare still have mercy, your grace. Uh, uh, uh forgiveness, your your grace. We were uh we were just discussing the uh crops. Um Hmm. I guess this <laughs> I understand that you are worried about your close ones and yourself, but hear me. Without loyal, upstanding people by your, by my side, I can never rescue this realm from the evils plaguing it. If you stay, I swear, I'll do everything in my power to put an end to this madness. Both men listen to you quietly, and then look at each other and then clumsily bow to you. We, uh, uh, we understand your grace. These are tough times indeed, and, and there are... Things, all, all sorts of things you have to deal with. Uh, don't go listening to fools. The, lo the loyal and true will stand by your side. Thanks, all I asked. Okay, bye now. Okay, let's go see what Boken is, is doing. <laughs> Please don't explode, Boken. Please. Oh God. Yes. Oh hi. I shall end this suffering. Boop. Nope. Go over there. Strike. Wonderful. The end draws near. No. Anybody else? No. Good. <clears throat> It's the shortest way. I just okay. Yeah. Peaceful travelers. Is this the dude again? The skeleton dude. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, fine. I can sell you stuff. Hi, Mr. Skeletal Salesman. Salesman. I need 
to catch my breath. I need to catch my breath. Ah. Uh -huh. Um. Well, let's see what Boken has to uh, has to. Excuse me. What Boken has to say. Goodness me. Boken, sweetling, are you okay? Is it those books I gave you? Boken looks tired and haggard. His face is grey, his brow furrowed, and his eyes shine with a feverish glow. Who's who's there? Who is it? Oh, it's you. Hey, how convenient. I need your help. We have to run some tests. Tests? What tests? I found the formula. All my own. These damn books didn't have it. Nothing but hints and half-truths there. But you can't fool Boken that easily. <laughs> I bet a gold piece that you're not even listening to what I say. Why would I? Uh, though I can hear you clearly as day. Now, what was I saying then? Uh, oh, right, the formula. Ah, the elixir of eternal youth. A most wondrous brew. Restores the strength in one's hands and the swiftness in one's feet. I first heard of it when I was still just a lad and I didn't believe it. Uh, but now, I've lived a long life and I've seen stranger things. So I thought, why not give it a try? So I asked you to find these books for me, and I've heard that one of those volumes contains a formula. Well, turns out they don't. Um, but all they do is make things clear as mud. Still, I was able to find something useful in there. I, I can't remember how many nights I stayed up working on the solution, but here it is! Boken proudly shows you a few vials filled with a silvery liquid. Can't drink it yet, though. Must test it first. Can't be too careful with these things. So, will they help me? Um, I don't know. Um, I thought, I thought you were doing something else, dude. I, I want to say no, but I also want to say yes. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. Hmm. Alright, I'll do it. Wonderful! Thanks for that. Let's try it on a dog first. Let's... Wait, what? No! What? That's not... No! There's a mud on a leash around the corner. You can test the stuff on it. I won't feel bad for it some if something goes wrong. That'll teach it to stop barking at me every time I pass by. I could do it myself, but what if it's off the leash? I won't harm you as it... Uh, it won't harm you as it, it would harm me. I'm not tormenting living creatures for the sake of your ambition. So that's how it is, is it? Fine. I'll just make it my on my own. I won't be the first time. You... No, 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 this one. What? Failure? What? I'm gonna redo this. What in the world? I'm gonna say no. I fail. I know. I don't like it. <laughs> I fail. I saw that. It was a big red X. I don't like it. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna stop very soon. Don't you worry. I, I just I just I really wanted to see what Bogan was was all about. Save scum. Let's try this again. No, I do really have to go soon. <laughs> it's five more minutes. It's five 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 for, five for May we have a moment time of to get respite? some rest, isn't it? In Shut up, everyone! Time. I have stuff to do. I can sleep here later. 
Hold on. So I'm gonna say no now. We just... Good blah. Test, we test, I bet. Continue, continue, continue. Nope. Spoken. Svetlana is worried about you. And I can see she's right to be. You're obsessed with this idea. It won't lead anywhere good. Spoken is almost shaking with indignation. So that's how it is. Okay, so that's it then. That's a mis mis mischievous schemer. Fine. Ow, that hurts. Okay, fine. I'll fail then. I don't care about this formula anyway. And with that... <laughs> I have to save and go. Yup, yup, yup. We are good for today. I will be back tomorrow though.